Kumuha ako ng video regarding one of my troubleshooting here in our ship. Right now, we are in the freezing environment in Russia, about negative 4 degrees Celsius. And one problem on this is we should be sure that the space heaters of the equipment that we are handling is working good so that any troubles can be minimized. Right now, I found out that the air horn is not working and the solenoids are stuck even there's a supply. Why? Because the space heater is not working inside this box. As I check the system, I found out that raising the wiring diagram that there is no supply coming from the timing controller inside the bridge. This is the space heater diagram and it's the wiring diagram including the components inside the timing controller. From the supply, there is no continuity between the switch for the power on and the switch for the space heater. Well, after doing this job, I first remove all the eyes inside the diaphragm of the air horn and tested it out in manual and it works perfectly. So one thing to do is to make sure that the space heater will work now for now. So I trace it up coming from the supply line from this power switch of the timing control to the space heater switch to the breaker this is a small breaker at the back of the timing controller but it's working good up to this power supply and now as you can see AH124 are the power supply for the space heater So, we check. By knowing this problem, um, the best thing to do is to make a jumper wire from from the power switch of the of the control or the timing control up to the input of the switch for the space heater. Because there's a problem with the PCB, PCB board, maybe there's a disconnection in there. And not, not, not maybe, I'm sure that there's a disconnection in there. So every time I switch on the switch for the space heater, there is no supply coming for the space heater. So I did the job, little soldered. I double up the wire because this wire is a little bit small and the space heater is an 8 ampere component because it's a heater to make sure I double up the wiring and after that this is my result and upon testing with the voltage meter as you can see the AH1 and HH2 supply for the forward air horn is already 100 volts before this doesn't have anything and also AH3 and AH4 for the radar mass, radar mass air horn also 100 volts so meaning we have a supply for the space heaters both forward and aft and also I check this or make sure that the space heaters are working on Thank you for everything. This is Mark of Algebra in Action signing off. Thank you.